Hey everyone. So, <coughs> excuse me. In this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, this final reflection capstone journal. If you've read through the assignment description, um, it seems like a lot of work. So I've done a little bit of work to help you out. Uh, one of the things that I actually want to do is I want to cut out this step where it talks about selecting an assignment to revise and reflect on the process. Um, because I feel like that might make you lean towards one project over another, especially since the last unit had such a long paper to revise. Um, so I actually have tweaked the response questions a little bit for you to help you out in the separate document that I included. So really all I'm looking for, you can ignore the part about including your revision. You don't need to give me an actual revision. We're just going to reflect on changes that you could have made um, now that you have a little distance from it. Um, yeah, so you don't have to do the, um, you will include one of your English 101 essays, two to six pages, depending on which paper you chose to revise and reflect upon. We're just going to focus on the reflection. Um, so what I'm looking for is, um, either a presentation, um, a three to five minute presentation or, um, a journal word document. And I have broken down all of the prompts for either way you want to do that. So you can either do it as a presentation or recording, or you can um, do uh, an actual Word document journal where you can answer these questions. So you can see here that it says that you're to um, choose one of the units that we did and to talk about the strengths and the weaknesses. And so like if you chose unit one, you would answer these questions, unit two, these questions, unit three, these questions, unit four, these questions. What I've done here in this document that I will be including in the announcement for you, um, <laughs> should actually have it saved on my computer. That might be faster. Um, if you open it, I remind you uh, to choose which unit you want to focus on and then use the corresponding uh, breakdown to help you write your paragraphs or time your oral presentation. You can ignore the instruction in the assignment details to also attach a revision. We're just going to reflect instead. Just write a paper or create a presentation by answering in complete detailed sentences the questions for your chosen unit. So let's say you choose unit one. If you choose unit one, write a paragraph answering this question, then write a second paragraph answering these questions, third paragraph focusing on these, fourth paragraph focusing on these. Or if you choose to do the presentation, plan to speak for about a minute here, a minute on this topic, a minute on this topic, and a minute on this topic. And these questions are, um, I think, a little more detailed uh, than the prompt questions that there were there originally. Um, so I went into a little bit more detail to hopefully help you answer them. So for example, if we chose unit one, um, you would look back at the 101 unit one critical thinking traits and describe how you've successfully used two or three of the critical thinking traits to navigate the semester. Um, then you would explain what mistakes you've made in 101, how did you or how would you improve them? What specific critical thinking skills would you take uh, with you from 101 into your future and why these? And then this fourth question is, if you were going to revise that 101 unit one personal essay, what would you do differently? What revision activities uh, or strategies would you use? So those are the questions I'd want you to ask if you chose unit one. Uh, same sort of deal if you chose unit two. So you're just going to pick one of the units and then answer the questions and write either um, a four paragraph journal essay in Word document format and turn that in or uh, record a four or five minute presentation answering these questions. Um, so remember, even though you're turning this in for 011, you're looking back and reflecting on the units that we did in 101. So just make sure that that distinction is clear. And I tried to make that clear in the way that I refer to assignments throughout um, this particular document. So that's what I would like you to do.